Okay, well, <coughs> here we are back with the Chinese split cycle two stroke engine. I put batteries in the, uh, the ignition unit and we do appear to be getting a spark. I'm going to zoom in on the uh, combustion chamber and see whether the camera will actually pick up the on the uh, 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 on the actual spark. Okay, I've turned the lights off as well. So hopefully you can see, you will see when it actually sparks. There you go. Yeah, I think the camera caught that. I don't know how far I can go in without it going out of focus. Yeah. Right, so we're getting a spark. Now, I've done a bit more of a kind of closer look at this thing, and I don't know whether you can see in the video whether it comes over, but this cylinder here is actually two cylinders in one. There's an inner cylinder, cylinder and an outer cylinder. And what I believe is that the fuel goes in through the top here, and that goes inside this inner cylinder, which um, this pipe uh, connects to. And then the outer cylinder, there is a hole here, which I think is where you put the water. And therefore that will then um, go through this pipe and into the, into the water jacket. That's what I think. So that's, what, that's basically what I'm gonna try and do. Um, so, um, uh, then I think we'll clamp it to the bench because obviously if it does run, it's going to move around quite a lot. Um, and if that seems to work out okay, then I will have a go at starting it. Well, I think my <coughs> guess is correct. There's now water in this outside jacket here, which has flowed through this pipe up into this um, cylinder jacket here. There is lighter fuel i've used the same stuff that was used in the video zippo lighter fuel um, which i put in through the top and i used a little uh, um, funnel um, i only put a small amount in there so i'm hoping that that is how it's all supposed to go um, so i'm not going to use the pull cord initially to try and start it i'm going to just flick it with my hand like we did with the hit and miss engines to see whether we can get it to go so um in the video, the guy has the advanced with this, this mechanism here almost all the way over to this side, so that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, and right, well, let's give it a go. Okay, ignition's on. I don't know where you're supposed to fit the ignition knob. Well, we're definitely getting a spark. But it doesn't seem to be doing much. Right, well, we seem to be getting a little bit further. I've actually had it running for all of about three seconds, so.
No, I didn't want to know. Trying again. <laughs> oh. Yes. Well, well, yeah, I mean, that's the longest we've had it running so far. Let's try this again. Ease it open a little bit. Hmm. Don't ask me what I've changed. <laughs> I mean, this seems to be super critical where the air intake valve is, but as you can see, it is actually now running. Well, we got there in the end. <laughs> well, as I said, I, I can't tell you exactly what it was that made it all of a sudden decide to run, but um, yeah, I mean, this gets quite warm. Even I mean, the, there is water in there, obviously. Um, but uh, I haven't, I'm not gonna change anything. Um, I'll, I'll turn it on again and see whether we can get it started again with everything in exactly the same. I mean, obviously I moved this while it was running, but you know, so. Okay, well. Finally, so um, the question, the answer to the question is yes, it obviously does run. It takes a bit of fiddling to get there, but we, we did finally get there. So, um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm quite impressed with that actually. Yes. <laughs> it works really well. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, uh, yeah, quite impressed. Um, as I said, it would help if they actually gave you instructions, but um, I think hopefully, if anyone buys one of these. You know, you've seen what I did, fuel in through there, water in through there, basically until it comes, you can see it in the, I, I didn't fill it right up. There is actually an air gap in the, in, in the water jacket here, but um, yeah, it seems to run fine. So um, that'll be it for part two of the, uh, the Chinese um, spit cycle two stroke engine. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.